Okay, here we are. We're going to demonstrate how to make the adjustment to the flow switch in the uh, valve boxes. First of all, remove the valve box from the rack and remove the lid by taking off these screws that are here on the lid. And then, of course, as we all know, the flow switch is right here. There it is. And Angel's done a great job of highlighting that. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the adjustment point, correct? Well, yeah, yeah, you first uh, loosen up the nut yeah. um, so that you can move the set, the set screw. Yeah. Once you've got uh, the nut loose, then you can adjust the set screw. Okay. So why don't you go ahead and do that and demonstrate just so well, we... Well, first thing you got to do is you want to first set your, your flow meter here. Yeah. You want to set it at the point where, where you want, uh, what flow you want the, to turn on the, yeah. the alarm. So let's put some flow. And let's say that's where I want to turn on the flow. Okay, so very so good. you got a flow indication here. That yes. There is no flow, which basically we do have flow. So, yeah. So we got to adjust. So I, I come here to this with a nut driver and loosen up that nut first. This is hard to get up. In there. Okay. Okay. So you basically, let me just make sure we understand. Okay. So, oops. Very difficult to get. Okay, so there is the adjustment right there. So we come in with the nut driver. I'm losing the oh, and that guy. And actually, that it's nut driver already, seems already, to, it's already loose. Yeah, yeah, it really did in this case, it's already loose. What size nut driver is that? It's a you quarter. Know? It's a quarter inch nut driver. Okay, very good. And now you need the small screwdriver. Or no, it's not actually it's a, a screwdriver. It's a hex. It's a hex. And it's a quarter inch also. Or no, it is tiny. Like I, I don't, I don't know which one. Okay, we'll mentioned. need to find out what size it is. Okay. And then you come in here and and go there. Yeah. And go there and, and start okay, so slowly make the turning. Slowly turn. Just turn it turn counterclockwise. Counterclockwise until, until the flow fault light goes until off. The, and you check the flow fault light until it goes off. And so, so now it's been set. It's been set. So, but you might want to do it a couple of times. You know, go down, yeah, and then come back because it, it's a little bit sensitive. You go back and reset because there is some history. So you might want to do it a couple of yeah. times. But once it's done, then you gotta come, come with the nut driver again. Come with the nut driver and then tighten up that tighten nut. Tighten that nut so it doesn't lock it down. So it doesn't move anymore. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. So if you could find out find out what size that is, just, just let me know. I'll take it from there. Thanks.